Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 4975 and today, as promised, we're going to be breaking down the Aquatics and Other Antics DLC. Yesterday we had a look at the trailer and did kind of a trailer breakdown into some of the new things that are going to be added. But today I want to go in depth into what the DLC will actually include, all the new vehicles, clothing, weapons, etc., but before we get into that, I want to say a massive shout out to Layla Matic for helping us make the trailer and also to Lucifer Reap for helping make the actual DLC. He's made quite a few DLCs in the past, so I asked him if he would give me a hand with it and he, he accepted. And then we sent it off to Layla Matic and he helped us make the trailer. So huge shout out to both of you guys, but let's just get into the actual um, DLC. So, here is the Aquatics and Other Antics DLC Amino page. You can see this was posted by me. And it's a collaboration between myself and Lucifer Reap. And the YouTube trailer was made by Layla Matic. And it is based off a new trade arising off the coast of Los Santos, causing a sudden spike in the renovation and construction of new properties. And the market has been booming with the import of new vehicles and purchasable boat trailers. And you can see the artwork here that Lucifer, uh, that Layla Matic made. Looks really, really nice. I like it. So the new concept will include a new business, a new property, new boats, new vehicles, boat trailers, and new collectibles. And it will also include new clothes, which I forgot to put in here. Then the introduction. As the pol politicians of Los Santos search for a new way to bring themselves money, they stumble across liquid gold off the coast. Suddenly, oil rigs started popping up all around the island, being careful not, being careful to avoid the sunny beaches so as not to create an eyesore for the millions of tourists attracted by them. Then we get into the business. As the oil rig started popping up, the crews on board quickly grew tired of the low pay provided by the government of Los Santos. This quickly opened up as an opportunity for our characters to invest in a personal rig providing both passive and illegal money making opportunities. And you can get a look at the oil rig here. We uh, saw it briefly yesterday in the trailer, but this is basically what it's going to look like. It has these two big cranes on. And then you can see there is a landing platform here for our players to land a helicopter on. And then underneath there is this living quarters, just like here, that you can't really see from the top. But getting started, your awareness of the business started after receiving a phone call from the rig's chief commander, explaining that there is some prime income to be made out of the rigs. However, it will cost our characters a startup fee of sorts. Purchasing and upgrades. The oil rigs are available for purchase from Mays Bank Foreclosure. The rigs vary in price depending on location. The cheapest is near Grapeseed and the most expensive is down near the Los Santos docks. Then upgrades. The oil rig comes stock with a boat yard and command center. And you can see the boat yard here. This is basically where you can roll your boats into and customize them. That is a new feature in this DLC is boat customization. Then available for purchase are a personal quarters, a customizable personal quarters that adds a wardrobe, personal computer, bedroom and more. The armory, which uh, is a buyable armory that adds a weapon locker and Mark II weapons bench. And then human torpedoes, a buyable area uh, that allows you to that uh, yeah allows you to deploy out of the oil rig in a scuba suit and a human torpedo. The torpedoes can be lightly controlled and are mostly designed as a quick way to travel to shore. So this is a bit of fun, uh, loose for added in here, but it's basically you'll be put inside a torpedo and shot out of the side of the um, oil rig. Basically how it works on uh, Sea of Thieves, when you can shoot yourself out of a cannon onto an island, it basically works the same as that. Then as well are business related upgrades, which are covered here. So the 
uh, making money and how it works. There are two sources of income from the new oil rigs, similar to how the nightclubs and arcades earn a passive income from the safe and an active one through the business. The passive money making. This will earn you a passive income from the oil rigs over time, from oil being drilled. The progress of oil drills can be shown by entering the oil rigs computer located in the command center or by visiting the storage area where you can see the barrels of oil being stored. The price you can sell oil for and how quickly it fills up can be increased by purchasing staff upgrades and oil rig upgrades, such as upgrading the actual drig, uh, the drill, sorry, and interior of the rig. You can also buy additional security upgrade to help prevent and protect against raids from pirates. Then the illegal money making part. Um, you can you can also make money illegally through the rig using the storage center to st to store stolen parts, illegally mined fossils, as well as other substances stolen by you to sell on the black market. Selling. Both sides of the business have very similar, similar sell missions, but differ depending on whether you're selling illegal or legal goods. You'll be delivering the goods to the buyer to receive your payment, but some buyers might be more picky than others on the means of execution or the delivery of the product. So some of the missions you might have to fly in a, you know, like a seaplane, some of them you might be in a boat, some of them... You might be in an amphibious car and have to go from land to sea, all this kind of thing. Basically, there'd be, you know, like the usual delivery methods, um, but there'd be some new missions. And then other properties. Boathouses. Scattered around the map are new boathouses, which we saw in the trailer, uh, available for purchase on the Dynasty website. These allow you to store and customise your newfound collection of boats. All the new boats can be upgraded with an engine and performance parts, as well as interior and exterior customization. You can also take existing boats to the boathouse and store them there as personal vehicles and paint them to your preferred colour, similar to the smugglers run aircraft. With the purchase of a boathouse you also get a boat trailer that trucks with a tow bar can pull around the map with your custom boat. These trailers will have a new mechanic that allows you to load your boat onto the trailer from the water. So currently you can find um, boats on trailers driving around like NPCs and you can put the boat into the water but if you try and put the boat from the water back onto the trailer it doesn't work. So basically this mechanic would fix that so you can unload your boat onto the water, go boating, then load it back onto the trailer and drive off again. And then you can see the new properties on the front here. So you'll be able to buy these properties on the beachfront now. And then beachside properties. Also available for purchase are the new beachside properties which are these here and there'd be more up the coast as well. That range from beachside mansions to smaller getaway apartments. Most beachside properties include an indoor hot tub, a patio or balcony and a 10 car garage that can store your new rides, which we'll get into in a minute, or a trailer with a small boat on. And then the new vehicles. So we've got two new aircraft in this game. We've got um, actually there would be three new aircraft, I forgot to add one of them, but we've got the F-35B Lightning II, which is the VTOL jet we saw in the trailer. We've got the GTA San Andreas Leviathan, which is a helicopter, and that can land on water like the Sea Sparrow. And we've also got the Manatus um, Aqua that we saw in the trailer, which is basically... Um, an upgradable version of the dodo so it's very similar to the dodo it's a seaplane but it can be upgraded with guns and liveries and flares and everything that the smugglers run aircraft have so you can see a picture of the new jet there then cars we've got the grand tour pond bug we've got the water car panther we've got the gibbs bicycle 
We got the Mark 1 Reliant Robin, which we saw in the trailer. We got the Sand King Julie, which can also be, uh, which can also pull boat trailers. We got the Chevy Silverado Julie, which is the same, can pull boat trailers. We've got the 1980 Chevrolet C10 Stepside. And then we've got new boat trailers for boats and jet skis with a loading mechanic. So you can put the boats back onto the trailer from the water, which I discussed earlier. And then you can see one of those new vehicles here. This is the Watt Car Panther, which is like a Mesa Aqua. The wheels fold up inside of it. And then we move on to the boats. So we've got eight boats in here. We've got the Bluebird K7 jet boat. And this has the Rocket Voltic style boost. Because we don't have a boat in the game that has the Rocket Boost yet. So we've got the Rocket Voltic and various other cars with the boost. We've got the um, Oppressor and the Oppressor Mark II that are bikes with the boost. And we also have the plane, I believe it's the Swallow or something like that, the Sparrow I think it's called, uh, that has the rocket boost, but we don't have a boat with it yet, so it'd be nice to see that. Then we have the Lampadati Rufus, we got the Planet Solar Hydrofoil, the Maltese Falcon, the DCB M31, the Prototype Leopard, which is the Swamp Racer Jet Sprint vehicles from the Crew 2, then we've got various leisure boats, and there's a mod here if you want to t uh, check that out. And we've got the Vortex Hovercraft, which you can see here, which was featured in the trailer, and that returns from GTA San Andreas. And we've got three new weapons. We've got the Flamethrower, which you can see here. That also returns from GTA San Andreas. The Underwater Pistol, which you can use underwater and whilst in a human torpedo. And we also have the railgun, which you saw in the trailer. Then collectibles. This is basically the new treasure hunt that will be added to the game. Something that Rockstar seems to be doing with every DLC. But it is quite fun. It gives you something to do and go and find. So we've got um, new collectibles have been scattered along the ocean floor after an unfortunate shipwreck off the coast. A ship with 30 valuable fossils has sunk, leaving the fossils unfound. Players can search the ocean floor for these fossils and are awarded uh, as decorations in both your casino penthouse and in your oil rig. So every fossil and little treasure value that you find, you can decorate your penthouse with them and your oil rig uh, sort of living quarters, which is really cool. And then we've got various new clothing, which is just going to be sort of swimsuits and beachwear. And that is the end of the concept. So you can see there was a collaboration between me and Lucifer Reap. And the trailer uh, was by Layla Matic. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to go and check that out. And that's going to do it for today. Thanks all so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy and I'll see you in the next one.